What's up, everyone? <clears throat> figured we'd uh, figured we'd do something a little bit different. Um, as we all know, we have the um, 24 hours of Le Mans this coming weekend, the uh, Saturday the 15th, Sunday the 16th. Um, I believe it starts at uh, 3 p.m. local time in Le Mans, and uh, it is, uh, which equates to, I believe, a six-hour differential to here uh, in New York, which would be 9 a.m. So uh, for the rest of you in the, uh, in the States, you can do the math on uh, your time zone there so with Le Mans um, <laughs> it's such a you know it's such a huge race with so many drivers coming from so many disciplines um, and series racing series from around the world um, and then you have the four racing classes that uh, you know sometimes it's a little overwhelming uh, hello to you Gennaro Classics how you doing um, thank you for joining uh, so there's so many, there's so much driving, there's so many cars on the track, you know, when you see the highlights, uh, or you catch cl clips of it, it's, you know, it's real hard to keep up or, or even kind of, uh, dissect, um, everything in, at a quick glance. So what we'll do is we're going to take the next four nights, break down each class, uh, as far as what those class, you know, what the classes are. Uh, the description of the class and also uh, the teams and the drivers so we'll get a better sense and just by uh, eyeballing this um, the, the, this field of drivers is insane insane so you know when you hear as we go through this for the next few days um, and you hear the list of the drivers attached to these teams You'll, it start, it'll start to hit you why so many drivers on the, the highest tiers of racing will, will say, you know what, I, I'm, I'm leaving this to go, uh, you know, I'm leaving my, my form of racing. I, I got to try open, you know, I got to try um, endurance racing. I got to try the WEC. I got to try uh, Le Mans uh, because the, the level of competition is insane. Insane. You think having you know, uh, whatever, you have, um, ten, you know, on a Formula One grid, 30 drivers or uh, um, 20 drivers, and, uh, you know, you, you think that's tough. I mean, this is like <laughs> three drivers per team, and there's like, you know, eight, eight, ten times the amount of, of, of teams, and for, I mean, it's just so many amazing drivers on the track at one time for 24 hours so let's get into it a little bit and um one thing to uh break down is uh we're going to start today with the uh um the lmgte amateur class otherwise known as the lmgt gte am class short for amateur um the the Le Mans Grand Touring Edition, I'm sorry, Grand Touring Endurance Car, that's what GTE stands for, Grand Touring Endurance, um, is a car having an aptitude, and this is straight off the Le Mans uh, description, uh, a car having an aptitude for sport with two doors, two or two plus two seats, opened or closed, which can be used perfectly legally on the open road and available for sale thanks to the dealer network of a manufacturer recognized by the endurance committee okay so that's why we're able to relate to so many of the cars that we see on the track when we look at uh in at this class at the uh, gte class both in the amateur and the pro so um you know you, you see a, a porsche you see a ferrari you're like okay that's i i know right away you know what, what car that is um obviously when you get into the um prototypes then you get into uh you know a chassis that you may it's not easily definable as to what kind of motors in there and who's whatever but obviously G gte classes you can easily identify so um first things first here okay so the difference between the gte the pro and the amateur um the pro they they just simply define it as a, a group drivers uh, or a team a group destined more 
especially to professionals and the amateur group destined more especially and this is the phrasing coming off the uh, English translation of the French website of, of 24 Hours Le Mans um, a group destined more especially to amateur drivers simple as that same cars um, and the engines if normally aspirated uh, have a 5500 cc maximum and if they're turbocharged or supercharged um, then it's a 4000 cc maximum uh, the driver categories in the pro level the composition of the cruise is free so you can have pro level you can have whatever you want on you know amateur however you want to mix the drivers on that pro level and in the gte amateur uh, level it's a crew of two or three drivers that must include at least one bronze plus uh one bronze plus one bronze or silver and what they're referring to is the status of the of their racing license there um, as part of the team. Um, the pro, once again, another way to easily define the cars uh, during the race is the GTE Pro cars have the, uh, the the green background on the side where the number is with the white number, and then the uh, amateurs have the orange um, background with the white number. And uh, that's it as far as defining. The car class right so um, as you can see here the orange and the green simple as that cars look like they would as if you were to see them driving down the road that's a Ferrari it's a Porsche all right so we're gonna get into the um, once again we're only tackling the uh, GTE amateur class and we're gonna start here that okay so I wish I had a better way of doing this I printed out a copy of this and I feel like my my eyes are bugging out it's too small but over here I can see it perfectly so excuse me for turning my head back and forth um, the number 54 car uh, and this this is all of this is LM GTE amateur okay uh, 54 cars, the Spirit of Race, that's the name of the team. Um, they're racing a Ferrari 488 GTE. And the three drivers are Thomas Floor, Francesco Castellacci, and Giancarlo Fisichella. Go figure. Now, why does he... That, what, what's, and he's also the starting driver for that, for that team. Why is Giancarlo Fisichella not have something higher i guess the minimum is that bronze what was the did it say minimum must have at least one bronze a crew of two or three drivers must include okay so the amateurs must include at least one bronze plus one bronze or silver so because it's amateur one of the drivers can be just pure amateur and the other ones are going to be like super pro level so Giancarlo Fisichella racing in the GTE amateur Ferrari good luck to everyone else uh, <laughs> um, next team the number 56 that is called the team project one they're racing a Porsche 911 RSR and the three drivers again Jorg Bergmeister Patrick Lindsay and Egidio Perfetti Burmeister, I mean, this, these are sick driver combos. I mean, this is going to be just crazy racing in every class. Next team, fifth, uh, car number 57 is called the Car Guy Racing, um, and they're racing in a Ferrari 488 GTE. Uh, they have Takeshi Kimura, K. Francesco Cozzolino, and Kome Ladoger. Le, Le, Le with, with, I apologize. I'm slaughtering that name. Let the go. Let the go. R. I apologize. All right. So uh, that was Car Guy Racing. Um, the number sixty car, uh, Kessel Racing, in a Ferrari 488 GTE. And you have Claudio Schivoni, Sergio Pianazzola, and Andrea Pacini. 
okay? Number 61 car, Clearwater Racing, racing a uh, Ferrari 488 GTE. You have Luis Perez Compank, Matthew Griffin, and Matteo Cressoni. All right, that was Clearwater. A lot of these cars in this class are Ferraris. I'd say about 50% about of them. And the other 50% is a, uh, is a mix of a makeup. Um, we get into the WeatherTech racing team. Uh, they're racing a Ferrari 488 GTE. And uh, their drivers are Cooper McNeil, Tony Vlander, and Robert Smith. The number 70 car is a uh, MR Racing, racing a Ferrari 488 GTE. You have uh, Motoaki Ishikawa, Olivier Beretta, and Edward Cheever. Okay. Um, then we get into the uh, winners from last year, our, our uh, 28, 2018 um, class winners, the Dempsey Proton Racing. And of course, in their Porsche 911 RSR with uh, Matt Campbell, Christian Reed, and Julian Andlauer. Okay. The number 78 car, uh, Proton Competition in a Porsche 911 uh, RSR with Lewis Pret, Philip Pret, and Vincent Abril. The uh, number 83 car, uh, another uh, Kessel Racing in a Ferrari 488 GTE, Manuela Gosner, Rahel Frey, Frey, and Michelle Gadding. Okay. Halfway through the list, guys, bear with me. Uh, we're going to keep going with this. Uh, we have the number 84 car, JMW Motorsport, Ferrari 488 GTE, Jeffrey Segal, Rodrigo Bautista, and Wei Lu. Now, you're going to recognize a lot of these names from, once again, different racing disciplines, which is very cool to me. I, I, I think that's the coolest thing to see how these, how these drivers react and behave in this type of environment. So, um, it's a, for a lot of them, a little bit out their comfort zone. But good drivers can adapt to anything, and we've seen that in the past. Um, so, very cool. Uh, the number 85 car, Keating Motorsports, racing a Ford GT with Ben Keating, uh, Jerome Blickamalan, and Felipe Fraga. I, I know I'm slaughtering some of these names. Bear with me. Uh, not all that easy. Uh, number 86, Golf Racing. Uh, racing a Porsche 911 RSR, Michael Wainwright, Benjamin Barker, Thomas Praining. Uh, number uh, 88, Dempsey Proton Racing, uh, their second car, a uh, Porsche 911 RSR, Satoshi Hoshino, Giorgio Rota, and Matteo Cairoli. And Matteo Cairoli is starting off on the first stint for them on that uh, in that car. Um, the number 90 car is the TF Sport Team in an Aston Martin va Vantage with uh, Sally Yolik, Ewan Hanke, and Charlie Eastwood. The number 98 car uh, is the Aston Martin Racing Team, racing in a Aston Martin Vantage, and it's Paul Dalla Lana, Pedro Lamy, and Matthias Lauda. And the 99 car is the um, Another entry from Dempsey Proton Racing in a Porsche 911 RSR with Patrick Long, who's starting off for them, uh, Tracy Crone, and Nicholas Janssen. That wraps up the GTE Amateur Group. Um, the GTE Pro Group, if I look briefly, is the exact same amount of entries. So we'll go through that tomorrow, which is Tuesday evening. Um, and then the largest class is the uh, LMP2 uh, class. A lot of entries there. And then one of the smallest classes is the LMP1. So uh, we'll get to that once again. We're going to do one class a night. And uh, any questions on that, comments, suggestions. Obviously, the race starts, like I said, Saturday. Uh, here, East Coast, um, New York, it's uh, 9 a.m. I believe that's what I just saw, um, which is once again 3 p.m. Uh, local time in France, um, and then 
24 hours. Let's hope they can get through a year without rain. Um, I'm looking forward to the race. The I know that the free practice, I think the free practice starts on Wednesday. Uh, let me see if I can get that for you. Uh, yes, okay. So... Wednesday, okay, wow, Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. is the free practice. That's a four-hour practice, so that goes from 10 a.m., and this is New York time, so 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. is free practice. Then they get a two-hour break until 4 p.m., this is all Wednesday, and then you have qualifying, first qualifying session at 4 p.m. this Wednesday, to two hour qualifying. Then on Thursday, the next day at 1 p.m., you have the second qualifying session, and that's another two hours. That'll bring them to 3, uh, 3 p.m. They have a one hour break until 4 p.m., and then the third qualifying session again on Thursday. Um, two hours. Friday, nothing. Saturday at 9 a.m. their time. Well, 3 a.m. here in New York, 9 a.m. Uh, over there. There is a 45-minute uh, warm-up. And then at 9 a.m. our time, 3 p.m. their time, is the 24-hour hour race. So that's the timetable. Uh, everything's starting on Wednesday. That breaks it down. So to be exact, we have another four days, 12 hours, 48 minutes, and three seconds until race time. All right, of course, there's other racing going on. We'll cover that on uh, uh, maybe Friday night because I don't want to conflict or take anyone away from the start of the race on Saturday morning. I've been doing the uh, weekend schedules, the live weekend schedules, uh, periscopes on Saturday morning, of course, with the race starting at 9 a.m. Um, and, you know, they're in around that time for other people around the world. Um, I might do the live um, Periscope for the weekend schedule on Friday evening. So uh, I think that's a wrap. Um, feel free to make your comments on my Ferrari hat. I'm sure some of you see that there. I'm just proudly wearing that today after we got shafted yesterday. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Um, but... Uh, and some of you saw the wrap up last night. Um, definitely aired my opinion on everything from the uh, Canadian GP. But I think that's a wrap. Questions, comments, suggestions before we go? Uh, if not, I will uh, see you tomorrow night. We'll go through the LMGTE Pro um, lineup for the teams and the drivers uh, tomorrow evening. All right. Uh, thank you very much and have a good one.